Hello, I'm going to discuss um, hand sanding, which is just sanding with sandpaper in your hand and sanding. And yeah, so basically you just hold, you can either hold it and just sand it, or you can use a, like I use a scrap piece of wood. It's best if you use cork, but you know, if you don't have that laying around, then you can just use a scrap wood, piece of wood because it's not that big of a deal. And now yeah, you just wrap it in there. And like back and forth, make sure you cover the whole piece and go with the grain, as you can see, like across along with it. And yeah, um, this is what you do. You're supposed to do hand sanding. This isn't actually like a project or anything. This is just a piece of wood I had laying around. But if you have a project, then you're supposed to like belt sand it, like use a belt sander or something like that to get like the big stuff like if you have a really big thing you need to get take away with sanding then you shouldn't use hand sanding because that would take forever like you're supposed to use a belt sander for that hand sanding is just for like making it extra like smooth belt sanders are for like taking away a lot of material and yeah so right here it says 60 which means 60 like that's the number of like the grit and 60 means that there's like a lot of like little rocks in on here as you can see and like if it was bigger like 100 150 200 400 then like it means that the rocks get like smaller and smaller which means they're more like fine and make it smoother and yeah so this is 60 when you start out with hand sanding then you probably you probably want to um start with a smaller number and get up to bigger and bigger numbers because it, you're making it more and more smooth and just a thing that you might want to know is it actually can get too smooth like if you're gonna use a finish like lacquer or staining it then I would recommend that you don't go too high with the grit like make it too smooth because it will actually make it so that the lacquer cannot stick on so I would only go to like 200 if you're gonna do it by that and yeah and also if you're gonna sand metal then I would recommend that you do wet sanding which is basically you just get like a little thing like a little glass of water or whatever like a bucket of water and you just dip the sandpaper make it all wet before you sand because it's like something about like like the sandpaper like it'll stick or something I'm not really that sure but I know that you're supposed to use wet sanding whenever you're sanding with metals which is just to make them smooth and yeah basically so like hand sanding is pretty self explanatory except a few things that maybe you didn't know and so yeah hope this helped and see ya